Good evening and welcome back to the Barrow Career Mode. We're on to episode 11 now. We're into the second half of the season, which is really, really great. We've actually made some real good progress so far in this career mode. And I'm really, really happy about it. And uh, I just want to keep that progress going. We've played 23 games in the league. We've got 11 wins, 3 draws and 9 losses. And since we upped that game pace the game has just changed. It's been much better. It's been much more realistic in the in the score lines, in the actual results. So let's go across to the calendar and take a look at what we're going to be doing today. First up, Mansfield Town doing really, really well in the league. They're like second or first. I just showed the table there, but I didn't actually look above it. I just looked at what we were going with. Then we've got Northampton away from home, and then we'll be into the January transfer window and the FA Cup was that second round. FA Cup second round against Barnsley. That is going to be a tough game because Barnsley are, I believe, the league above us. League one, I think, is where they are, but I can't quite remember that. Either way, we're going to advance into the next game and see what we've got. We've got a really cool, oh, got a tired team, tired, tired outfit. So we're going to have to change it up. So Warren's the first to swap because he's yellow Canavan as well. Which means McClellan takes the captaincy for today. Patrick Broff comes out for Cruz. Uh, Gordon's uh, still not, it's not great. Neil for White. Yep, Foley's going to be gone real soon. So that doesn't really bother me so much. And we've also got some more youngsters who have just come up. We've got Avaro Barros. And Oli Sutton, who are just just breaking into the first team. But I think Barros may actually get sold or at least loaned out for a little while. Just because, obviously, if they're not going to play, I don't want to have them sat in the squad for no reason. Um, I'd rather they were actually sold off for a little bit of money just to help us get our Welcome financials a bit a higher, to be honest. Night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Okay, here we go. We're going straight into it. Yellow versus white. This might be a bit... Nah, it should be okay, but it might be a touch confusing. Anyway, first up, winning the ball within the first few seconds there. Good work Tom from McClelland. Oh, that's... Can might they lose that. Something from here? And reading it absolutely superbly. Wow, look how fast they got the ball up the field there. Hartigan. Callum Johnson. Oh, hey, great challenge. To jump in front. Oh, that was a chance to give them an That was close. Advantage. That was well, way too close to for comfort. <laughs> Mansfield are really gone. moving the ball around quickly. Well, They're really for us to know about. Let's hear more from causing Alex me some Scott. issues. It's a goal for Bradford City. They're the first on the score sheet here with 13 minutes played. It's Thank a bad you, pass. Alex. Can I steal that? Oh, unlucky. Johnson. Hartigan. A running room in the wide position. Oh, Feely got back, and I think the uh, the Mansfield player tripped over his own feet there. Garner. Absolute fizz. Oh, well. Where are you going, Gotts? Louis Reed. Good steal again. So our attack really hasn't fired just yet, but our defence is doing okay. Well, not on that first attack, I would say. Ah, it's too far. There to win it back. Louis Reed. And offside. Offside. Okay, we get away with that one a little bit. 
Here we go. This might be oh, no, a bad touch from Robbie Gotts. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick yeah, given. Yeah. That was definitely a foul, to be fair. Don't know if they're going to pass or yeah, give it a bit of a whack into the box. In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. That's slightly frustrating, not going to lie. Slightly frustrating. Uh, I'm not a fan of the... Let's just up that a little bit. There we go. Wasn't quite a fan of how the pitch was looking there. It looked a bit dead to me, so made it look a little bit greener. <laughs> so underway again here. One nil the score. Gotts. Tom White. That's a good pass. Bennett's on the ball. Bennett's going to take on the shot. Nah, and just wider the mark. The target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Keeler done. Very quick thinking there. Tom White. Bennett. That's good play. Look at that. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Dang, they really pass it out fast. Keeler done. Is that going off? Oh, he's kept it on. Okay, that's half time. That's fine. Yeah, I just um, I just edited the the saturation on the recording there because it looked a bit kind of the green didn't look so green. It didn't look really nice. So I'll just change that up a little bit. Okay, so it's probably the attack isn't really firing, so we've got to change it up. Bennett's had a half, didn't really do much. Had one shot, put it wide. So we're going to uh, well, bring on Jake Young. Again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. That's, oh, turn back. Heavy touch. Oh, again, the long shot just a pity, really. fading out wide. Not great. Not great. Hartigan. Hewitt. Ollie Clark. What can they do from here? As a go. Oh, good save. save. Great goalkeeper. That is a good save. We're happy with that. Now we've got to defend the corner. Keen to take it short here. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Oh, that's good play. Setting Josh K three, three, three. Good turn. Good turn. That was a great turn. Oh, Stuart, they must score. Come on. What a goal. Hitting Mansfield on the counter. That was a pretty, pretty dramatic counter attack. I'm going to take that one. So back underway following the equaliser. And a goal has gone in in one of the other matches. Good tackle, get Ghana. Tell us more. Yep, it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. They're ahead by two now. With oh, and that's won the ball back. Well done. Cheers, Alex. There's the goal scorer, Josh K. Ran it in from, I don't even know how long. Definitely from our own half. White. Every pass hitting its target. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Oh. Looking ball. Can he put them in front? What a save! A what a save from Farman. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Well read to ease the pressure. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Okay, I think next time the ball goes... Well, oh, that's not good. For an opening. Flag up. Oh, Tight offside. Off. Hell yeah. Robbie Gotts, off you go. Billy Waters on your come. Here. 15 minutes to go. one all. Number 17, 
Waters. Well, that was fired in for no reason. And a goal at this stage this might this well good. turn out to be decided. Yeah, that might be the... Oh. It absolutely superbly. I think that was Ged Garner, not really reacting to the space in front of him. Very much an option. Come on, just cover off the passes. Sam, you've got to get back, Mac. Will it be? Good and save. Good save. Well, so late in the game. That's Elliot Newby. I think it's Elliot Newby. It might be Ethan. I can't remember. It's bad of me. I should remember their names. <laughs> Taking short. That's definitely offside. Oh, a fantastic save. Offside. Not that anyone knew. Good play. Cruise up to Josh K. Into the middle. There's a touch of space there. Yeah, look at that. Lovely work. Ged Garner. He's in a bit of space around there. Oh, that's a good interception. Very important interception there. Clark. And that is one all. That is another draw, but that's one all with... But no winners in the end. Stuart one all with a team that is first or second. I can't quite remember. First or second. Only conceding from a set piece is a bit annoying. Because it does mean my defense was stronger. Like they couldn't break me down in open play. Which is kind of what I wanted. But was in what I wanted. I didn't want them to break me down in open play. But I wanted my defense to be stronger against open play. Some questions regarding the match. Other things on your mind? Um, Farman has refused his contract. Yeah, he did because I offered him an extra year and he didn't want to take it. So. I'm not angry though. I'm not angry. I'll say he's still our player because he's still. He's still in the club for now. So. What was the thinking? Um. I would say every player... No, the team has to come first. Because every player have, has to earn his place. It's a bit... We've got a loaned-in boy in, in CDM. So it's a bit up and down with that one. It didn't look good at half-time. But we, we came back. Uh, we were resilient. We were resilient. And we could have won. That interception in the last attack was really important. Ghana was, Ghana was in space. He just never got the ball to put it away. So, if he did, I reckon it's two one, and I reckon we're uh, we're uh, toppling the the team that are top of the league. Damn, that is so loud every time. I don't know why it's doing that. Second in the league, and if we take, can we take a look? Did Leighton Orient win the last game? Because if they did, that means yeah, they did. So Leighton Orient actually beat Hartlepool, which uh, Hartlepool were doing well at the start of the season, but now they're uh, not doing so great. But we've, oh, that draw does drop us out of the playoff spots as well, which is not great. We want to bounce back. We've got Northampton away. And th let's, what, let's try and bounce. No, that wasn't even a bad game. Like, that wasn't a bad game. That was a 1-0 against team at the top of the league. So we've done really well. I need another centre-back. I clearly need another centre-back. Let's give Oli Sutton his debut. Let's give Newby a chance and let's give Billy Waters a chance. Stevens can come in. McClelland is not. It's not good. Ah, I'm not a fan of that. We're going to have to play Ray, and that kind of settles it for me. In January, we are going to need another centre back. And we're almost there. We we're almost at the January window. Josh, that is not Josh Gordon, though. And the, leading marksman in the, league. <laughs> the bugs are still strong in this game, let's say that. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Here we go. To believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will Ollie be reminding Sutton. their players of starting the game quickly. A glorious chance. Good save. Oli oh, Sutton did okay save. there. The dribbling was a bit slow. But, you know, he so made the space. So, the oh, box. that's a good header. Well, it's a moment he would like to have I think back, that was, was that Ray? Yeah, that was Ray. Good header, but not quite got the accuracy on it. Good power behind it, though. 
A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alex Scott has the news. Oh, wow. It's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. It was a poor Oh, ball. no, what a chance this is. Put it wide. can't avail himself of the chance. Will he be disappointed with that? Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, he's been great since joining the club. He's their leading goal scorer. And it's his movement that's been so good. If the defenders get too tight, he'll spin in behind them. If they drop off, he'll turn and run at them. Let's hope we see the best of him today. Wonderfully weighted pass. And a goal! That was really good play. I can't really say much about it, but that was a good play. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Well, apologies to Alex for having to cut her off when we did. To confirm for you, the home side were able to find the back of the net. And their lead stands at 1-0 presently. No, the last pass. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Fox. Dang it, again. The last pass, letting us down. Sowerby. Well done, Skipper. Patrick Broth. Keep going, Patrick. Josh K. Got a bit of pace? He's got a lot of pace. It's got to be... Well, oh, Ollie Sutton had his Ollie Sutton had his chance to open up his professional campaign, professional Harris. score sheet. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. It has to be. Oh, that's close. Power, so Lucky. Close to finding the net. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker. Play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, the well, yeah, good work from Ray. Has a decision to make. That's fine. Well, I'll take that. We could have been in trouble if he didn't do that. So that's fine. <laughs> Let's get the wall out of there. They're not going to shoot this. Or well, maybe they are. <laughs> All fairly run of the mill in terms of what the keeper had to do. Newby. It's not Josh Case. Newby. He has teammates around him. Can he convert? Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Oh, I've got to slow down. Okay, that's fine. Same as last game, 1-0 down at half-time. Not great. We want to try and shore up the defence a little bit more. But it was good play when they scored, so I can't really argue with it. It was good play. And Let's just hope that in the second half we do what we did last time and we dominate and maybe take it that step further where we go from 1-1 to 2-1. And uh, we'll also, first time the ball goes well, off, we'll get again, Ray yeah. off because he's on a yellow card. We have in store for us. And we'll bring on Mac to uh, try and sure up the defence a little bit. Go on, Warren, you can chase back. Just cutting off the supply. Now, I believe changing circumstances in one of the other games... Alex Scott will tell us more. It's a goal for Stevenage. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 50 minutes played. No messing around this Oh, no. Time. What a chance this is. Oh, my word. What a double save from Farman. Well, we had to interrupt Alex oh, in full flow there. Okay, 55 minutes. Ray comes off for McClelland. Um, Sutton's had some chances, but he missed his open chance, his yeah, big chance missed. For that. So just to confirm, the home side have scored, and it's now even. Stephen one-one, and a double substitution. It's going to be. Can he finish? It's a good shot. Oh, good save. Well. Can it's someone a good get ball a in? Young's going to win that. Newbie, here we go. Waters. Oh, it's another good shot from Billy Waters. 
And the substitution will occur now. Number 18, Josh Howard. Coming onto the pitch, number seven, Seth Hoskins. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. This could square the game. Is that... That's an insane pass. That's a crazy pass. What the heck? Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? What a... That is an insane pass. Oh, my Lord. And the keeper's too, the keeper's moving across. Can't even, can't even get there. And we've just subbed Stevens off for scoring. <laughs> one one. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alex Scott has the news. Yes, another goal for Leighton Orient. They're back in this now with 68 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Something oh, that's bad. But captain. Oh, Skipper. Oh, Skipper, they're clearing out twice in a row. Gordon's in. Gordon's in. Oh, he's not quite got him. Waters. There we go. Oh, he's been blocked off. Really good play, though, there. We can win that. We have won that. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. It's a perfect challenge. Not a lot of composure there from Billy Waters. Just 10 minutes to go. Oh, was that a foul? I'm not sure that was a foul. Doesn't matter. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. He could pick out a teammate. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Not long to go. Gordon, can you just get on your bike? Are you quick enough? Go on, buddy. And just like that, yeah, he's quick enough. Look at that. Still got the ball. Still got the ball. Still got the ball. Can they forge ahead? Good save. No. Good save. Really good work from their keeper in this second half. Well, he has done well there, Foley's coming on for a game. rare appearance. Get another chance now. And now the That's delivery. a good ball in. Well, still an issue here. Has he just been shoved? That could have been a penalty okay. shot. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. A really vital interception. And that's another 1-1. One, one. Again, the same again. I get the goal back and then I just don't have it at the end. Had my chances but just couldn't get it in. Is this the first chance, I think? Yeah, first chance it was saved. Oh, that's a fine save. Yeah. Anyway, 1-0 again. A good performance. Like, we're not losing. We had 60% possession. We were doing really well. But just need to uh, need to be a touch more clinical, I think. Just a touch more clinical. Okay, on to some training. Because we are in January now, I think. Yeah, 1st of Jan. Players value. Yep, that's fine. Um, he has now become available. That's fine. Uh, I suppose... Yeah, that's true. He can now be approached. He doesn't want a... Let's do it. Let's do it. And then Maloney may get his chance. But we need a second choice goalkeeper. Jake Young is gone. Young recalled by Bradford. That's interesting. That's interesting. I thought Jake Young was pretty good. So we're going to have a look at bringing him in permanently. We're going to have a look. That's it. <laughs> we're going to have a look. Okay, so we've got a goalkeeper there that I could just I could just bring up. Um, Riley Baker is in the senior team filling out. Sean Terry can't do the same thing because he's not of age. Uh, he's not 16. I can't bring him up to the first team yet. Samuel Cech is still looking pretty good. Patrick Mitchell looking pretty good as well. But yeah, okay, that's fine. The youth scout 
Oh, that's a new report, I believe. So let's take a look. Let's change that view, please. The overalls. Can I sort it on overall? I'm not sure I can, no. Joel Joyce. Joel Joyce, look at that, that's pretty good. Elijah Park, I'm afraid. An overall... I don't know, look at the potential. We can't really judge it just yet, can you? When the potential kind of evens out, I suppose. The potential... Look, I'm sorry, Dickinson, it's not going to happen. Joel Joyce comes up. Elijah Park, I suppose, can also come up. Um, Billy James, yep. But none of the others are particularly... You know, particularly... Good. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the youth staff, because that means that... Jordan Weber... Can set out for a new... A new uh, scouting network. Technically gifted winger, physically strong, playmaker, goalkeeper, attacker. Any. We'll just go on any. Any's fine. Six months. Returning uh, the what the 2nd of Jan, uh, Jan. July. It's currently Jan. Louis. And let's go back into the squad hub quickly. That's team sheets. That's not squad hub. Squad hub, there we go. Okay, so we've now got... Gonna have to block offers here for Re, uh, Riley Baker. And Scott Maloney's not going anywhere. So, Lillis and Farman are both, both transfer listed now. So, if we can make a bit of money off of those boys, that would be good. That would be helpful. Got our left backs, Patrick Broff and Kieran Cruz. Got our centre backs. I Yep, fine. Joe Grayson's back. We've just pulled him back because I need another centre back. And he can play DM. That's very good to see. Foley's retiring, so I can't Well, I can transfer list him, but he says he's retiring, so I don't know if I'll be able to get some money for him. That could be interesting. Because we've got White and Neil. I don't, okay, so I need another centre defensive midfielder. Because we're going to use Harrison Neil while he is here, obviously. And potentially go for a uh, permanent deal. I wonder how much a permanent deal would mean. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Shall we make a start? We probably should, yeah. Market value is a... That's just too much, I'm afraid. That is straight up, like, I just can't. That's too much. Um, there we go. I, I, it's too much. I can't do it. So that's fine. Um, yeah. It's annoying. But there's, there's no way. Market value of 1 million. I, I, there's no way. Um, okay, now to take a look at Jake Young when he was here. Um, search for... Yeah, search for player... Jake, um, R2 space, young, there he is, a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper, only 450, only 450, I still don't know because the finances are going to be tough. The average age is at 25 because of the youth players I've brought in. Current growth, 3%. It's very close. 
it's very close it's very tight um Take, take a look at the. There's a lot of players. Okay, I think I need to reset the scouts a little bit. I need to reset the scouts and just go from scratch with the scouts. So let's take a look at what we've got. completely restart because that's a lot of Premier League players that I just there's there's no there's no way you know it, it it's silly to even have like Matt Hummels is not coming to Barrow <laughs> um, so instructions add new instruction a position we are going to be lacking we're going to need a first team goalie. Attributes. I don't think, is there anything attribute related for a goalie? Maybe tall. Tall would probably be a good one to throw in there. And I want, you know, they've got to be kind of low on the contract. There we go. Centre back, strong and tall. But let's edit that instruction as well. The contract's got to come down. And the age is also... I've got four. But let's bring it to 22-28. Because I want to see if there's an improvement I can make into that position. Because we do we do have good players in that position. But not, not perfect. Defensive minded. First team quality probably strong as well age you're going to have to bring that one down as well and the contract is going to have to be a little bit open and this is going to be for a central defensive midfielder there we go each of the scout reports one two three sorted Douglas Anderson is in Scotland Peter Krylov is in France and Riley Hammond is in Norway can I manage scout Relocate Scout to there's a goalkeeper one. I don't know. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna move him to England. We need to be searching in England. Because I haven't actually implemented the rule of Relocate Scout. You're looking for a central defensive midfielder. I haven't actually implemented the rule of I can only sign English players. That's not a rule I'm sure about going for just yet. But it is an idea, the kind of club and country situation. Okay, good simulation, all A's. Lovely. Let's keep going. We got some stuff in the in the inbox. Okay. I was impressed, son. So Paul Farman didn't... Yeah, well, okay, that's fine. That's fine, and we've got Joe Grayson back. Advance one more day. We've got some training to do. ACA, that's fine. Another training day, and... and oh, we've got loan offers. Here we go, we've got loan offers. Um, short term short term and it's not a loan to buy so we're going to reject the loan to buy offer and accept the loan offer so Oli Sutton if the negotiations work out well he'll go out on loan for the rest of the season I imagine or maybe a couple months I, I would assume at this point it's the rest of the season it's from January to the end of the season the new transfer window opens and then you go again you get your player back and you can loan them out again and here we are at the FA Cup here we are 
as discussed expanding the brand but that's just the age yeah that's the age and they want me to get it up to 29 that's that's crazy that's crazy Drogada want to take Avaro Barros that is fine he was never really in the plans he's age 17 overall 49 we're gonna make a mental note of Alvaro Barros um, but it wasn't really in the immediate plans current budget prize money ticket sales current budget is still it's still pretty good but it's it's I feel like it's all gone on scouts to be honest I'm 40% down I think I think it said I'm 40% down on where I was budget change 40% Okay, so we've got to watch that. We've really got to watch that. We're not. I'm, I haven't been silly with it, but we need to need to make sure we've still got a good amount of money. The wages can't really go up any further. Anyway, enough worrying about the backroom stuff. Let's worry about the game that is ahead of us. Here we go. Barnsley in the FA Cup. We're at home. McClellan is definitely keeping his place. Feely can play centre back, but he's my right back, so I need to need to keep that there. Watfield got Neil, and obviously Grayson can come in there. That's good. Cruz, K, Garner, and Gordon. We're gonna play Bennett. We're gonna play Bennett. It's a bit of a judgment call here, but we're gonna play Bennett and see how he goes in a crunch match, an important match, because his stats when we checked them through the squad hub, they actually weren't too bad. They actually weren't that bad at all. But we need to, to need to you. perform if you and want no to keep your point. Your, your place. As we get ready for this match. My name is Here we go. Excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And live action to come from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, Derek, it's a nice break from league action today for these clubs. Obviously a long there way we to go. go to the tournament. The final is months away but they want to put in a good performance and get through to that next round. Good work, good work. McClellan up to Warren. There's a bit of space inside. Warren. Ah, the pass well, wasn't there. In the okay, now Warren, you've got to get back in position, buddy. And he has done. And he's won the ball back. Well, okay, not quite, but he did stop the attack, which is exactly what I needed. Well, the cross didn't get past well done, the Mac. defender. Whitfield. Uh, is that? No, it's not quite on. So he's just going to hold the ball. That's good lines. That's good lines. Warrens has really is made some space there. Gordon releases Neil. it. Nice. Neil, lovely turn. W Gordon again. Neil again. Let's have a go. Good save. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Not a lot of power in that shot. And look at that. Barrow and Barnsley are both bar. So that's uh, really helpful. <laughs> Over it comes. I, see, I got shoved. Nil down. Has a go. That could have been a handball. Won it back easily. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay. And a throw in forthcoming. Russell, Tedich, can he put them in front? Oh, he's turned me. This is the emphatic answer, and you ah. it was on the cards. That's unfortunate. We've done really well in the first 25, and then just one turn unlocks my defence. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Okay, Neil on the ball. 
Good line, good pass. That's a pass inside. Ah, Robbie got stolen back by Neil. Plenty of support here. Well, a very forceful challenge from the Barnsley defender, area. but he got them the ball well, back, the so that's all that see, matters. Haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Great save, oh my word. I'm really not painting myself in the best light with this, uh, with my defence at the minute. Okay. Danger averted for now, but they oh, have a corner 1-0 down at half time again is not not great. So we want to try and get a goal well, before the, the end of the half. Routine. In position. Really there we go. Great defense. Could be a chance to break here. Oh, that was a pass that was on for Gordon, but it didn't quite get there. Robbie Gotts has held it up really well there. Neil. How can he take them on and beat them? Oh, the well, that way. deflection could have gone anywhere. They find the magic they need from this corner. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. No, come on, ref. I'm still there. Comes to an end. I'm still on the attack. Ref, come on. Oh, I don't think we and did bad in that begins. half. I feel like we did do a good first, good first 20 minutes. We were really on the attack. Cambridge Stevenage still nil nil. If we can get through this game, we have a chance of a big so back on the payday. Way into the second half. And a strong tackle. Yes, good pressure. And this might be a chance. The defense is a little bit static. Well, they need to get tighter. And it is. Can he finish? Come on! Superb entertainment. Come on! What a goal! What a goal! Patrick Broff left back. That might be his first goal for the club. Genuinely. I need to check that because that is a huge goal. Round two against Barnsley. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Patient build up at the moment. That's keepers all day long. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper. Well done, you. Farman. He's not gone yet. That was an incredible touch from Mac. Well, Leicester fans have been wondering would the deal go through? It is now official. They've got their man, Stuart. Well, with a price tag of £80 million, the expectations will be huge. He's a player with great skill. Rodrigo's gone to Leicester. That's an interesting transfer. Not, Let's hope he gives it to not a good pass. Not sure a realistic one. But certainly an interesting one. Okay, on the attack. That's a bit of space out left for Patrick Broff again, the, the goal scorer. It's a great ball across. Oh, wow, that's an acrobatic clearance. Oh, Mac, what a challenge. Josh K. Still going. Dangerous ball. And an effective clearance. That's a bit of space there. It's another corner. Okay, Billy Waters is coming on. Billy Waters, I feel, has played pretty well when he's had his chances. And he's fired over the corner. Well, perhaps not a high percentage chance for him. Well, although he was always going to be second to the Get ball. Get That's good. That's on you come, son. Stop him getting a clean header there. And what we will do is, after this game has concluded, we shall uh, run through a bit more of the January transfer window. Or at least until the Moving next league forward. game appears. Josh Gordon. Oh, got they good tackle. And did. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. James Norwood. Oh, that pass. Oh, that's a good pass. 
That's a great save. That's another great save. Oh my word, Farman. He's not he's not bothered about the contract issues we're currently having. He's still performing like a demon. This looks more than decent. It's gone in! It's gone! Come on! It's gone in! Oh my word, I apologise to any headphone users there because I may have uh, peaked the audio. But man, whew. if Gordon could have tapped it home first time, I would have, well, I would not have done that. Well, as you can see, it's just unacceptable. He's completely lost his head here. Oh my lord. I can't believe that's gone in. The defender's just not got time to turn and get it away. Taps it home. We could go through on an 89th minute so own goal. After content. two games in a row where we've gone so one nil down, one all, here. and then not quite had enough McCarthy. in the tank to go the rest of the way. Russell and Come on, sir. The, the time has gone. This could be the oh, it's gone wide. Yes. The, oh, the timer was gone. I don't even know why Barnsley were given that attack. Oh, my Lord. My heart is going. My heart is going. FA Cup. Wow. I've got to do the post-match. There's no. I can't not do the post-match. <laughs> oh, own goal. Own goal. That's the title of the video. Own goal! Oh my word. That win takes you into the next round. Your boys will be celebrating. Will we? Oh. Anything's possible, but it's about our own performances, to be fair. Um, it's about our performances, yeah. Oh. I need to calm down. Lord, my head is uh, my head is spinning. We did have a bit of luck on our side. Because that was an... Oh, what? Wow. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you you get the win. <laughs> How important was it to limit his impact? Um, were you pleased? We coped well, I think. They had a chance at the end there to even That'll it up. All. Thank you so and much. And I would have been fuming, honestly. <laughs> Patrick Broff scores first goal. It was his first goal of the season in an FA Cup. Second round tie. A big goal. Power shot is... Ugh. I will try it again at some day, but today is not that day. <laughs> okay, what we've got in the inbox? We've got one. Sutton has been loaned out to SV El Elversburg. Elversburg. Okay. And we've got... Is that Gillingham next up? It's only a loan. We don't need a... It's only alone. He's going to be back. He's going to be back. I don't know why we're... Well. Loaned out for six months. Yeah, that's fine. Um, there's wage coverage. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, I just... Joseph Butler stands out. Yeah. Transferred out. Drogada, 150. I wonder if we could have got more for him. Only a D. Could have got 210. Wow. Could have got 210. It's okay. We just wanted him gone, to be honest. We just wanted him gone and off the books. If if that's... Well, it's not very nice, but... It was, it was necessary. Okay. So let's take a look at the scout reports. What do we have? What do we have? Jake Turner from Gillingham. The club we're about to play. <laughs> um, oh, and... Six foot five, Ivica, Ivica Ivusic. I'm probably butchering that name. Jack Hamilton from Livingston. 
Okay, what? Well, there's release clause is 360. Jean Luchet. Got a free agent. That's. Um, staff busy. Everyone's busy. No one's available to um to take a look. Okay, so let's just on loan. Okay, well if he's on loan from Palace, I cannot grab him. So remove from report, Andreas Sondergaard. We're gonna scout. Jake Turner, we're going to scout. Mateusz Huelt from Tranmere, we're also going to scout. Kieran O'Hara, again the same. Davy Ruyard from Bordeaux. Loan listed, interesting. Interesting. Um, Kieran O'Hara, Jean Luchet has a release clause, but is... Niort. Niort, I'm not sure if that's top division. That might be League 2. Paul Bernardoni from Angers, age 25. Kieran O'Hara, have already scouting? Yeah, already scouting. Mark Aureli, Aureli Kayad from SC Mets. Not sure that will be a realistic signing. Um, I can't, I'm not going to risk it, so we have to remove from. Robbie McCrory from Rangers. Um, Ivan Konovailov, transfer listed. There we go, that's a good and Jack Hamilton. Okay. That's all of the goalkeepers had a look at. Franklin Wadja. Overall currently not known from SMKN. We'll find the overall when we'll see. Oh damn, that's a lot of centre-backs. Okay. That is a lot of centre-backs. So, Bashiri. Mark McGuinness from Cardiff. Bambo Diaby. Farrand Rawson, Liam Lindsay from Preston, Tobias Figueiredo, Figueiredo Donatien Gomez from Greencamp, Joe Worrell from Stad Rams. Wow, interesting. On loan at, okay, he's on loan, so I will not be able to grab. Uh, Gautier Loris. Alex Iacoviti, Scottish playing for Bevis Mugabe, okay. Ayo Obilei, Livingston, Adam Jackson, also living. Oh, didn't mean to shortlist. Oh, whatever. Remove from shortlist, okay. And okay, so there's only one player that I cannot currently scout because all the scouts are now busy. So that's fine. Let's move ahead. Take a look at the inbox. Tournament prize money, that's another 100k added to the to the uh, the bank. Barrow Doncaster has been moved uh, uh, forward. And Southampton. Southampton is our third round match. We're going to St. Mary's. And Alvaro Barros, I earned a 1000k onto the budget. Um... Tom White, you're not a can. Um, I'll think about it, but that's an odd one to ask. I'm not sure about that. But yes, okay, to the calendar. To the calendar. Oh, my lord. There we go. That's round three in the cup away at Southampton. That's a big match. That's the biggest match of the season. That's the biggest match of my managerial career. And I don't know if it's the biggest match in Barrow Club history, but it could be. It could be round three against Southampton. It's going to be a big match. And I don't know how we're going to do, but we're going to do our best. That is for certain. Okay, next episode will probably play out January, if I'm honest. We'll just play out January. Or maybe not, because transfers do take up a lot of time. I can't make any promises what next episode will be, actually. But that is going to be it for today. So thank you very much for watching. What we're going to do is quickly check the standings, see where we're at. We've dropped from we've dropped from 7th to 8th, down to 9th now because of two draws in a row. But obviously a draw is better than a loss. We're still on 38 points and the look, it's insane. Look at that. 4th place down to 12th place. 3 points in it. 1 win and you are 
completely up. Completely up and I don't know how many places you could go up with one win. And also, let's not forget there, you can see we've played 25. Doncaster and Warsaw have both played a game extra. So technically, if that game was a win and we would be up on 41 along with other results, we'd definitely be back up in those playoff spots. So that's good to remember. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you have watched, if you stuck around for 55 minutes, I really do applaud you and I thank you very much. Uh, leave a comment if you have any particular players that you think might be good for transfers or something like that. Um, other than that, thank you very much and I shall see you next time.